Okay, for real this time. The science of the Hadoken. So there is a lot of weird, obscure lore about the Hadoken, which paints a decent picture here. For example, Capcom has made it clear that the Hadoken is not actually made of fire. In fact, it's lukewarm to the touch. Ew. We know the Hadoken was originally developed to allow you to deliver killing blows from a distance, but Goken made a non-lethal version. Remember, Ryu and Ken's martial art is the Assassin's Fist. And we know each fireball feels different. Ryu's fireball feels like a sharp kick to the gut with pain that lingers. Ken's feels more like an open-handed slap or strike, pain that goes away but is very sharp on impact. And Akuma's air fireball, according to lore, feels like a swift palm strike to the neck. That's why it translates to air slashing wave fist, something like that. And if you notice in this picture, there's the palm strike inside the fireball. This isn't just mimicking his hand motion while throwing the fireball. His hand is open. This is a different motion. This is something you see all the way to the original sprite art. Even though there are these ghost hands in the fireball, they are smaller and at a different angle. Capcom has also made it clear that the Hadoken hits with roughly the same force, no matter how fast it's traveling. So what is actually happening here? Well, first you have to accept the existence of ki or willpower as like a physical object. Once you get past that, which is pretty common in fantasy martial arts like this, you realize that the Hadoken is essentially a spring-loaded piston. Basically, they gather their key to create a facsimile of a normal martial arts strike, whether it's a kick, a punch, a knife hand strike, something like that. But instead of doing the technique, they bundle it up into their key and send that key flying forward. The key interacts with the surrounding air until it contacts something, and then you get this tiny explosion. At that point, the Hadoken is basically set off like a trap, like I said, like a spring-loaded piston. The martial arts technique is played as if it were stored on rewind when it hits your body, and all of the interacting photons just get dissipated. As for how it works on a subatomic level, well, I think there's a reason that fireballs are so big. They are, as we saw before, essentially containing recreations of the martial artist's limbs. That's also why they're lukewarm to the touch. They feel like body temperature. So in Street Fighter, you could look at Ki as a semi-stable particle that mimics mass, which means Ki in this universe interacts with the Higgs field. From that point on, it's just a matter of learning how to get your Ki to do what you want. And I don't know how that works, because if I did, I would be the next new character in Street Fighter 6.